everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Here we go with the wonders of Nidhi Sanji merch. I'm so excited to announce the Etheria now has uh, Palverse figures from Bushiroid Creative. We're out of pre we're out for pre-orders until July 7th, so don't miss your chance. And uh, preview link has expired, so Shopify kind of got ruined. Uh, I think that's more on Shopify's part than it is on Nidhi Sanji, but it's still another L for Nidhi Sanji. Source tweet, the linked page, and it's the JP site works. For EN Liver merch, uh, I used to think the idea of Yachtman was retreating from EN Market, preparing to completely XID in the, the EN branch, was tad overblown. Kind of incompetence is making me rethink the assertion. Talent doing advertising of their own merch, then got nuked after. The heck management, where your official merch team? You should have an official merch team. Heck, even Doki Bird has an official merch team. I'll get Nidhi Sanji a bit of props for it here for once. If these were released a year ago, I generally might have gotten one because they actually do look good. They actually do look good from what you saw, from what I saw. Does start to feel like someone in the Sanji management is getting fed up with all the merch memes because we've actually been seeing more effort in some non-NBA merch lately. And to be honest, one might generally take the cake. Kind of reminds me of the upcoming Doki Bird U2s. So yeah, with that being said, they did screw the pooch with the NBA stuff. And also, that's remember, that's a Rakuten one. So confusing on, not to mention that they throw a hissy fit about Etheria getting unique merch. But yeah, the preview link expired for the EN side. They're just really screwing things up, unfortunately. It's unfortunate for the people who actually wanted to buy it. It's unfortunate for the people who actually enjoy Nidhi Sanji. I'm not one of them anymore, but there are people who do. And more props to you if you do. You know, I just give critiques where critiques are due. Is Luca actually phobic is a question that a lot of people ask. Of course, uh, Luca being uh, phobic comes from Raziel's document, Long List of Allegations. The archive of it, we already saw it. Remember, he said, you know, like he doesn't like being uh, mentioned as being gay or anything like that. Uh, if they organized from el elsewhere, originated from elsewhere, being released and not aware. I don't know where Luca was groomed allegations originated from. Basically, they, they try to make it seem like he was 17 when they when they knew each other. But no, he was 18. Uh, and here's the Internet Archive page. People are saying that, you know, the allegations about Raziel, about Luca being transphobic. Remember correctly, the age thing has been mostly debunked. As Raziel said, it was 18. I uh, read through the doc on a lot of damning evidence. The only minor issue I have is, well, the whole hacking into a random Twitter account seems similar to her friends. It's really odd. Otherwise, there's a lot of evidence. Of course, we've gone through the Raziel document several times already. Uh, honestly, with how Luca has talked about in these documents, honestly, it feels like the lives of a, of a phobic family and actually secretly gay person or bisexual because everyone knows personally, I know personally that they know personally, was extremely homophobic and are now gay. Like a lot of people, a lot of people do that um, because they're trying to not get the hatred of their family. They're trying to not get that. I believe my brother was like that as well. Uh, my brother is gay and he was like that as well um, because he was afraid that we weren't going to like him. But now that he knows that he's fully accepted, he's been fine. You know, he's fully out and accepted by us, which is all that matters. Homophobic and transphobic, Luca would harass tons of trans worker co-workers by purposely misgendering them. So misgendering something, someone is a very bad thing to do. You misgender, you dead name somebody. That is a very evil thing to do. There, there are moments when, yes, it can happen unintentionally. I've done that unintentionally. I always apologize and I make sure to get the gender right next time. But it does happen unintentionally at moments. But if you do it intentionally, you are just an evil person. This is Nekomashiroa's karaoke stream. It's helping reach 20, 20k subscribers. This person is a Japanese karaoke singer. They are uh, a, a VTuber. As you can tell, they're kind of cute. It looks like they're maybe a demon style. Uh, it says there's any actual concrete evidence that she is Roa. Uh, people are saying that it's Roa. People are saying that it is, um, seems to have picked up steam again, but not, not seen anything to debunk her own written statement. What she made, it got a bunch of attention after debuting, but she straight up told everyone she, she wasn't Roa. I don't find she sounds similar to Roa. She never uses Deo, which is a trademark part of Roa's kayfabe. And Roa was still super popular after Mayro exposed for lying. Uh, you know, the whole Mayro problem that she had. Uh, and then putting out content spite Roa, the fact that it still has a fraction of the audience uh, she has as Roa is really unusual concerning the things. The end community loves to speculate. Of course, it might not be Roa. It might be Roa. We don't know. Uh, they're not going to verify it. They're never going to verify it, honestly. Because why the heck would they verify it? That just causes issues with the kayfabe, causes issues with the community. Uh, that was quite a short stream. Day one of a two-day shinging stream with 27 indie VTubers taking part. Each gets half an hour slot. Kamuri Amuru organizes these a few times a year. Uh, just to let you know, she's formerly known as Yuzuku Roa, at least what people think. 
Uh, Twitter search results says mistaken music you wrote in 2020. Uh, no wonder her name is familiar. OP, aren't you the person who spams JP streams on every VTuber related subreddit? So it might be a spammer. It might just be a rat. We're going to take it as a rumor and not as anything proven yet. A small rat or rumor post that people are wondering about. This person is wondering about. Um, saw a few people trying to find their Oshis who graduated. I'm trying to find mine. They're trying to find theirs. Uh, looks like they have an idea of who Axia Krona is. The JP Gossip site says Rue Room is their new account. So it is a fan as every single person has fans. And um, you hope that you have created a community that follows you even in your future endeavors. Whichever those future endeavors may be, whatever they may be, you hope that they are, uh, you, you have made enough of a change in their life, enough of a mark in their life that you are able to uh, be looked, at, looked for, looked after, looked towards, whatever you want to call it, and that you are able to be found. If it is Rue Room, then good for them. If it's not, then, uh, you know, sucks that they weren't able to find it and hopefully they're able to find their person soon. On another non Niji note, Panko from Face Connect is greeted with a happy birthday from Kiara and even becomes a mod of her channel. Hex has a strike on its channel, which is Nidhi Sanji's issue right now. Uh, Vivi's situation is still fresh. Meanwhile, Faze is thriving. Of course they are. Um, you have Panko here, who is a uh, Chuba story. is very wholesome to aspiring Italian with little experience. Uh, rejected from four different agencies, including Faze the first time. Gets accepted in the last minute because selected Panda voice actress had Menhera moment and dropped out. Debuted with very little preparation while speaking very broken English. Spent about a year as a meme of your gen and call the run to the litter. Start picking up traction due to the charisma and cuteness. Massively improve your English streaming skills over which over time, which boosts up everything. Uh, eventually, you work your way up from low three view to high and even eventually a four view. Become uh, friends with your Oshi after accidentally raiding her drinking stream. Get branded as the face of Gen 2 of Afkai 3. Love the Manko, of course. It doesn't really have much to do with EGN, of course, but still, this is fun. This is good. Just watch it. <laughs> Real, that is not real. That is not real. That is not real. She didn't say she did it. She I don't I have this. I got uh, it. It's so cute. Yeah, she has a key and I write, thing. Like all the, the words that I don't know in English. Oh wow. Very nice here. handwriting. I like I the handwriting. All the words that I don't know so that I can learn learn English better. Mm -hmm. You're so sweet. Oh, thank you! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. But is it too much if I add if I give you the mod? Give me. Yeah! Woo! She became the mod. Yes, okay. There we go. She became the mod. That's what we wanted to see. We wanted to see her become the mod. It's so wonderful when people meet Oshis or people meet, you know, people that they, they love and enjoy to watch in their, their whole VTuber career. It is wonderful to see that. I love seeing that. I'm so glad she got that. We are going to be joining Sayu in a whole moment where she tried to give people the uh, little bit of advice on how to become a VTuber according to them. The YouTube side, it's been a while. It's good to see all of you guys. If you guys ask me questions now, I can break them down. What's the best way to find a model mama for the image in your head for a model? Find a designer first, because then you will be able to advertise easier and show what you're yeah, trying to get true, done to an artist. True, Way true. easier than if you're just kind of going like, hey, I want this thing that has like this, this, this. Can you do that? And they'll be like, uh. So find a designer, get your design drawn up first, and then find somebody that you want to draw. Way exactly. easier. Is there find a your art on Twitter? First. Yeah, you can use Vigen. You can search for models there. You search for emotes there. Very easy. Yep. Vigen is a very good way to do it. If you have a style that you're looking for, you can't find it on like Vigen. Just scour Twitter, man. I scour Twitter. You just gotta reach out sometimes. You know, you have to find them. Don't expect them to come to you. That's the other thing. People are very busy. Better have one artist do everything or different people. I say if you can have one artist design and draw the model, then great. Way easier. Yep. But half the time it's hard to find that. Not because of people not doing it, but it's because they might not match your style. Half the time people That's who true. design models don't draw models. Because live 2D model drawing is like, holy moly. Yeah. Between models be like, oh, I could buy a car for that. The corporates <laughs> exactly. let talents have any input on the design. Sometimes. Depends on the corporate. On the note of artists and riggers, I'm hearing more people complain about them being hard to work with. I think it depends on which one you're working with and in to what degree. Okay. For one thing, what what makes some artists harder to work with is they're just popular. They're just busy. It's not that they're sliding you because they're yeah, popular. They're not no, being mean. it is more that they just are busy. So you have to wait a year to get a model even made. That does not make them hard to work with. That is just what is happening now that people have money. Now that people are established more. Obviously, you're gonna want to hire someone who's good at what they do for what you're trying to do too. Your artist was so hard to work with, that, so you learned how to do it yourself. It was not her. It was a major language barrier. Yeah, that's a big thing. Language barriers uh, are definitely barriers, a thing. Yes. So make sure you're prepared for that. But if you're talking about them not giving you updates, them not doing things on time, you have to prepare for the possibility that things get.
get delayed. Like, what if somebody dies in their family? You know, like, you have to be understanding that they're going to be delayed. It's very yeah, hard to plan things, things because life doesn't give you a break. If we're talking about professionalism, there are a lot of artists, or not just artists, but people who do business who won't give you the updates you need regularly. They should update you maybe once a week, maybe once every two weeks, depending on what you agree on. If they haven't given you an update in a week, you can check on them. Make sure you're also being there to check on them. You're showing yes. your professionalism and you're showing that you care about the project. It's not bad and it's not wrong to reach out to them and ask for an update because you are also showing you care. It is not pressuring them. If they're complaining that you're pressuring them after a week, maybe they're just newer to what they're doing. A lot of yeah. people who are in the VTubing community, they come without experience in commissioning people. Sometimes they lack etiquette. They're not used to it. If you really feel it's difficult to work with somebody and they're taking too long, you can ask for a refund. How much do you pay beforehand? I recommend 50-50. 50% when they start and 50% when they are done. If it is that a big sense. charge. Anything $500 and lower, if they ask you to pay it straight up, that's understandable. But anything larger than that, I would say you are okay asking to do 50-50. If you guys agree on something different, totally fine. You can totally do installments. A lot of people yeah. do installments. Installments is something I've seen a lot. Hell, the f no. Nothing is original anymore. Anything people say can sound original, can look original, but it's not f original. Nothing's original now. Just don't copy things like directly off of somebody's model or somebody's design. Make it your own. Something can be original if you just take it and mix it with something else. Honestly, that's original enough. Do I think it's important to be sincere? So the VTuber you is the same as IRL you are most putting on an act. That depends on what kind of creator you want to be. I wouldn't say you're putting on an act for some of the people who are doing different voices or playing a character or whatever, because you kind of have to, if, especially if you're in a company. A lot of the people who are in a company are hired to play a character in yeah, the first place. That's very true. A job, rather than the difference of being an indie where you are making the content the way you want. Some of the corporate content, they don't make it the way they want. I'm not saying completely, but I'm saying it's influenced a little bit by how the company is, right? Like, oh, if the company doesn't want me to be like on say so, for example, they have to be say so. Another example is the way that their generation is. If your generation has like the overall theme of being gods or guardians of something, right? Then you all have to play your part and be gods or guardians because if one of you breaks the character, then it all crumbles, right? Then you all that's look true. like shams yeah. or something. Then yeah. people question that's you very true. too, right? A lot of corporal VTubing is now that, that's where I'm gonna leave it because she goes on for like 20 minutes or so. Don't want to go the whole 20 minutes or so, but a lot of good advice from Sayu. If you want to watch this, it's how to become a VTuber from Sayu Synchronicity. Go ahead and watch it. Uh, thank you so much for being here, of course. Recently, I covered how Hololive uh, EN is going to be doing how all the three generations of Hololive EN, the uh, US side, whatever you want to call it, of EN, um, is going to be doing it both Advent, Myth, and now Promise, which is, you know, Council, it used to be Council Risk, now it's Promise. They're all going to be going to New York, August 24th to 25th, and they're going to be doing their stuff there. I covered it in yesterday's video. You can take a look at that. I have that in the video itself, but this time it's going to be uh, Hollow Live Stage World Tour in New York, Jakarta, Singapore, Atlanta, Kuala Lumpur. So the one in uh, New York is going to be starting things off. But this one's a little bit different in the sense that they're, these uh, people are going to be the ones that are going to be doing this. Uh, it looks like Oski is going to be in part of it too. And Watame as well. Kobo. You know, there's going to be some people that aren't directly from Hollow Live EN. The ID, you have JP. So it's going to be a full world tour. There's Singapore and one of the, one of the stops finding Apple to Apple comparison. Can't wait for Needy Sisters to spin this out of control. This is a good thing. This is a fun thing. I'm glad that they're doing this. Now on to the meme part. I would play the video involved in the meme part, but this is Summer Games Fest. So it's probably highly, highly uh, copywritten. And they probably already put it into their copyright strike thingamadoobs. And I don't want to deal with that at all. So I'm going to use this as a meme, the timestamp there. It's a game called Dragoon. And the game looks okay. It doesn't look amazing. It looks okay. It's a, it's a maybe take a look at other people watching, uh, playing it and then see if you like it and then maybe buy it. But this is, you know, basically because, you know, the Dragoons are uh, Doki Birds. They used to be Selens, but now they're Doki Birds fan uh, base. So we have that. And finally, the next thing is uh, no horny, Hex. Uh, YouTube is saying no horny, no horny. After an incredibly historic run, he has to remove all of his ASMR stuff, like I mentioned the other day. This time, it's more of a meme. Incredibly historic run, what the hell does that mean? Typically, typical Hex, overdramatic, huge narcissist. Things are really going haywire. Yes, yes, they're going haywire. That's the whole meme there. Hex has gone haywire, and but pretty much YouTube has bonked him, and he's done. He's done. He's absolutely done. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out, Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.